What's up guys? This is my ragged out Sportster 1200. I bought it for 1200 bucks and rebuilt the engine plus fixed some other things and since then it's been cruising awesome. I've always liked the idea of a turbocharged V-twin so this video is the fabrication part of that build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because at the end of the day I'm just a dude with the garage that enjoys wrenching on stuff. But if that's you too, I hope it inspires you to do something of your own. Throw it up on YouTube and I'll check it out. Thanks. I started by modeling everything up in SolidWorks just to get a rough idea of the placement and then I ordered my bends. I also used SolidWorks to design the flanges up and I CNC plasma cut them on my Langmuir Systems Pro Series Crossfire. Then I tacked them up onto the bike and I actually decided to use the stock turbo from my WRX wagon which I think is hilarious because I always wanted to find something to do with that dang turbo. And I moved it around by hand till you can see here I got the placement pretty much where I wanted it. You can see the downpipe is going to be close to my leg, but whatever, I'll deal with that. Then my bends came in, so I started chopping the bends up and lining everything up the way I thought it should go. Obviously, I'm pretty proud of myself at this point in the build because everything looks decent. Oh yeah. And I needed some extra gauges. I went with an oil pressure gauge and a boost gauge. So of course I had to make a custom gauge holder and it came out pretty dope. Also, you'll notice I added a V-band flange to help with the uh, uninstall and reinstall of the header. Pro tip, if you are going to make some noise after 10 p.m., if you do it with the garage closed, your neighbors cannot say crap because what happens in the garage stays in the garage. It's an unspoken rule, they all know. You can see where I'm going with it. I'm gonna need some boots. So I finished up the charge piping, I finished up the aluminum adapter that adapts the charge piping to the carburetor, and I had almost gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling carburetor. And basically the carburetor just wouldn't let me have it. Uh, I, I tried modifying it for boost, um, I tried everything, and there really wasn't an issue, but every one in five times I floored it, it would get into boost and run half decent but really not reliable. It was so hit or miss. So I just decided to hell with this carburetor. I'm going fuel injected. So stay tuned for the next video guys because I ordered everything I need to convert it. I am almost done with the conversion and then I'll have the video out for you guys so you can check it out. I uh, really appreciate you watching. Uh, drop me a like or some comments if you have some thoughts and I'll talk to you guys really soon because I'm almost done. Thank you.